we interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! Hey, I'm Megan Tenyas. Thanks for joining me on this special edition of Popcraft. Themed Courage the Cowardly Dog. As amazing as this shirt is, what's even more amazing is custom fashion. I always say, if you're following along at home for this, you're going to need acrylic paint, fabric painting medium, your imagination, a little bit of fear, and of course, your choice of blank clothing. That could be socks, a t-shirt, jeans, a denim jacket. So without further ado, let's get some fashion up in this paint. Once upon a time, before Finn and Jake were adventuring, before Steven was a universe, there was a terrifyingly smart and funny cartoon about a pinkish purple dog who screamed a lot. <laughs> Known for its distressing imagery, terrifying villains, and interesting mix of animation styles, I think Courage the Cowardly Dog is a surrealist work of art disguised as a children's show way more than it is just an ordinary cartoon on network family television. I'm not sure they'd get away with airing anything like it anymore, although I would hope so. Because aside from the show being thrilling and creepy, it's packed with lessons about love, empathy, and having courage in spite of fear. Things not just kids need to learn, but that we all need to learn. For these reasons, I thought I would proudly wear that imagery on a jacket. Backing up for a second though, if you have not been blessed with the terror of Courage the Cowardly Dog yet, it was a series created by John Dilworth that aired on Cartoon Network in the late 90s and early 2000s after initially debuting as a short film called The Chicken from Outer Space in 1996. In short, the show is about a cowardly dog who lives in a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere, literally the name of the town in the show, with his humans Eustace and Muriel. Muriel is an old, kind, naive Scottish woman who found Courage as a pup and Eustace is her grumpy old husband who calls Courage stupid dog. Stupid dog! While one might predict farm life to be pretty peaceful, theirs is anything but. The trio are thrown into a variety of bizarre and horrific adventures, encountering anything from monsters, aliens, demons, mad scientists, zombie filmmakers, etc and it's up to Courage to save them all. Many of the villains have become iconic, like Freaky Fred, Evil Weevil, King Ramses, Cats, Kitty with the Mask, La Quack, and even Eustace, who all leave a creepy impression on many people's childhood memories. And while a lot of the creatures are pretty bad through and through, some of them turn out to be good-hearted and actually just misunderstood, teaching the lesson that not all first impressions are the right impression, and that everyone has the potential to love and to grow. In the episode The Mask, for example, the farmhouse trio welcome in a strange masked cat creature with a huge distaste for dogs. Not only is her mask nightmarish, she doesn't really speak, and she attacks Courage at any chance she gets while Eustace and Muriel aren't looking. Seems pretty awful, and if you didn't finish the episode, you would probably hate this character a lot. But turns out, this one is ultimately about a cat looking to help a bunny escape her abusive biker boyfriend, Mad Dog, and is attacking Courage because she holds the prejudice that all dogs are bad. Courage ends up saving Bunny, though, and helps the two friends reunite, ending on the conclusive note of Kitty telling Bunny that she was wrong, and that not all dogs are bad. That dog saved my life! He saved my life! I was wrong, Bunny. Not all dogs are bad. Thank you, dog. This misunderstood villain theme carries over in more episodes, such as Scarecrow, Hunchback of Nowhere, Randy the Robot, and The Tower of Dr. Zalost. All teaching that love conquers over fear, and sometimes even villains can learn to love. So there you have it. I've painted a massive wearable statement of old Cartoon Network nostalgia with a blaring message of courage and love. Thanks for watching this episode of Popcraft. What's your favorite episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog? Leave us a comment and tell us. And if you've made any fan art too, please share it with us. Follow Gamma Ray on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And we'll see you later. Bye.